As I like to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This recipe is inspired by the chicken noodle soup that my mother would make for me when I was growing up. I decided to go and add a little unique twist after I got married. My husband's Persian, so I wanted to infuse a comfort food classic with the ultimate Persian ingredient, saffron. It adds the most beautiful color and this gorgeous floral essence. The soup really is the perfect marriage of two cultures, both bringing our favorite foods and families together. We are making the most gorgeous broth for our chicken soup, and what that entails is taking some chicken stock. It might seem counterintuitive, but they are two different things. We are going to fortify it with more aromatics, more chicken, and our saffron. To get started, I have an onion, celery stalk, and a carrot, and we're just gonna cut them in half. For our onion, here's the deal. I love to keep the skin on. Skin on is an old school trick for adding a beautiful golden hue to your broth. Once it's chopped, into the pot. Celery stalk, same deal, boom, done. And then a carrot. This is the baseline. Now we're gonna talk herbs. I've got two sprigs of thyme. You could use as much as you want. Thyme is pretty neutral and, and then a bay leaf. Now let's chat saffron. My mother-in-law, all of my husband's aunts, they have a freezer full of it. Why? Because it adds the most gorgeous color and flavor to so many dishes. The key part is, you don't need a lot. It is the most expensive ingredient in the world by weight, but you only need a pinch for every recipe. A little goes a long way. I'm gonna throw this right in. That being said, we are going to add in even more flavor to the stock by simmering a whole chicken in it until it's nice and tender. Bloop. And now for our liquids. Eight cups of chicken stock. We're gonna let this simmer for a while. So if you just did this, you wouldn't have a lot of soup. We need to make sure that this chicken is covered, that everything has enough time to infuse and cook down. So we're gonna cut it with some water. That's always gonna be your trick. You used water to make your stock. Now we're gonna use water to make our broth. Be gentle when you pour. You don't want it splashing on your chicken all over yourself. And now we're just gonna top it with six cups of water. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer and then we're going to let it cook low and slow for about an hour and a half. And meanwhile, you can chill out. I'm in my onesie because that's what my family does. We love a Friday night onesie dinner. And I just think that like, this is the ultimate warm, cozy, cold weather vibes. Put on a movie, binge something on television, really do nothing all day but eat soup and stay in bed. Soup is ready. Turned it off the heat. We're going to pull out our chicken now and strain the stock. You gotta be careful here. We have this nice, beautiful, tender chicken. So tender, the legs already just fell off, and that's okay. I'm gonna throw this onto a little sheet pan. I'll use a bowl. We just gotta let it cool, and then we're gonna shred it. Don't be a hero. You got to let it cool. You will burn your hands. Beautiful. I'm gonna put this to the side. An intro our straining vessel. You could use a giant bowl. I'm using another pot. I have a little colander here, which is just gonna be the easiest. If you don't have a fine mesh strainer or colander, I recommend using something like cheesecloth to line it. All right, we're going to pour this right in. If you are nervous, you can totally do this in your sink. Oh my God, it smells so good. There's really nothing like a chicken broth facial. I'm telling you more spas need to start doing it. So we have our broth here. It is ready, delicious. I'm gonna season it up in a little bit, but first thing we're gonna do is let our chicken cool, shred the meat and prep our veg. It's all gonna come together super quickly. The broth smells so amazing. I'm gonna bring this up to a very light simmer. What we're gonna do is introduce some more vegetables. Fresh vegetables, the reason being, the ones that are in the broth, no flavor. We wanna add some texture, some even more vegetable goodness into this and not have it be mush. 
I like a little bit of mush, but not too much mush. So we're gonna chop this up, throw it in. So I have two parsnips, three carrots, and three celery stalks. We're just going to chop them up. Parsnips. Can't talk about them enough. I love them. They are a quintessential ingredient to my mother's chicken soup, and I just think they add that perfect earthiness. They pair with chicken so, so beautifully. All right, let's throw them right in. We're gonna let this cook down for about 10 minutes, really just until your vegetables are tender. And meanwhile, let's shred our chicken. It's cooled down. I'm not gonna burn myself again, safety first. And what we're gonna do is we are going to literally just start pulling it apart. The skin will just pull right off. Pull that, okay. Beautiful meat, this is meat we keep. Let's shred it up. I want bite-sized pieces. That's kind of the name of the game. We just talked about that with our vegetables. Same thing with our chicken. The beautiful thing about it being so tender is that it just really falls apart. Herbs are quite triggering for me because if there's one thing that my mother did was get herbs all over the kitchen, everywhere. So definitely keep it together, but dill and parsley, it's crucial. It's that little bit of brightness. I think dill is the most important flavor when it comes to chicken soup, hands down. So we're gonna use a nice big amount of both. It's all going in together, so I'm just gonna go in with my knife, do a nice little rough chop. Let's test the veg first. Mm. That is tender. That is tender, that's what we're talking about. All about building flavor. We're gonna throw in our chicken. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.